just sitting here with my little baby on a swing. Say hi. Hi. Come look at the camera. Say hey. hi. Life is hard. Life is tough. And some of us are just going to struggle right now. But we got to find time to find some peace, even when we're stressed out, and find the best of things because it's not always going to be like this. Okay? Things are going to get better, and uh, and we're going to be okay. You got to tell yourself that, and you will be okay. I promise you that. So, real talk. I want you to understand that and uh, find something, find your quiet place, find your swing, uh, find your happiness. Take about five minutes today and uh, enjoy your life the best you can. I told you that you use race to answer a question. I gave you the question. How is TikTok relevant during the era of coronavirus? And we broke it down to make it more kid friendly. Finally, we use the internet to find two articles, one from Guardian and one from Variety about TikTok. And we found two quotes from each article. I personally found two quotes from each article, which I'm about to go over with you now. Okay, I got my first quote from The Guardian. Uh, this is one that says, there's a simple reason why people are flocking to TikTok. It's a superb time waster. Quote number two says, on the ad front, TikTok will provide 100 million in advertising credits over the next few months to small and mid-sized businesses. And quote number three from The Guardian. I got a quote where it says, another characteristic of TikTok that makes it well suited to the coronavirus lockdown. It is primarily an indoor platform variety. We've got a quote number uh, four, but really the second for variety. Uh, TikTok is working to distribute masks and other personal protective equipment to hospital and look at uh, toward the front here. Oh, sorry, I'm holding this. You see these and these. That means that there's more talking. You know, there's more said. These, this is what we call ellipses, and we put this if you know. I feel like uh, you know. There, I'm, I just want to get to the main meat and bones, the main point of the quote. And ellipses are here to help us. Uh, maybe you don't want to have the whole sentence. You just want to have some. Uh, the ellipses say, yes, this is not all of the quote or all of the sentence. Uh, it's in the middle of it, but we just want to get to the, as I say, meat and bones of the quote, meaning uh, just the parts that we could use that, that are helpful. And this is really the third step. But notice how I told you to look for uh, evidence first. Uh, I know what you're thinking. Mr. Slater, why are you doing step three first? Well, I'm doing step three first because it's very important uh, when, uh, before you find your claim to read uh, the reading material first to kind of give you an idea what we need to do first is go back to step one we kind of have an idea now after reading now the first step what you're going to do is you're going to combine R and A you're going to restate an answer that equals a claim you may ask what is a claim and claim basically it says to state or assert that something is a case typically without providing evidence or proof. Basically, in plain old folk English, as I always say, claim is your argument. It is, you're, you are asserting, you are arguing that something uh, is real, that what you're saying is the answer. So when you make a claim, this is your argument. This is what you believe to be true. So, uh, in order for us to make our claim, we go back and we uh, and we look at the question. Now, according to uh, race, I got to restate this. I got to make this into a statement. So I need to decide uh, what do I think? Is it relevant? Does it matter? Uh, does it not matter? I have to make a choice here, and that is my answer. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna make this question into a statement based upon how I feel. 
or that based on the evidence that I read. But I'm going to take out two things that uh, change this uh, from a question to a statement. How and the question mark. And I'm left with, is TikTok relevant during the era of coronavirus? Well, this is not a complete sentence. I gotta change something around. I have to make this a statement. Here comes a Blue's Clues moment. What do I do? How do I make this a statement? Now you see right there, uh, TikTok is relevant during the era of coronavirus. Now if I, and I, and I put a period, that's my period right there. Now, uh, if I didn't uh, feel that or understand that based upon what I read, I would have wrote, TikTok is not relevant during the era of coronavirus. Every, either way, you're answering the question, you're producing a claim, and, and you're restating to show that, hey, and the whole point of restating is to show, hey, I understand this question. I'm restating it to show you that I understand, and I am making a choice here. And my choice is that TikTok is relevant uh, during today's age. So this is my new sentence here. And now that I'm done with my first two parts, this is what I'll do. I marked it out to show that yes, uh, plane is complete. Now let's go back to our evidence. I'm gonna choose one of my quotes from last week and let's face it, I'm gonna choose quote one. Where TikTok was a pain when we were in uh, school, now that we're out and in lockdown, this helps us uh, forget about things as you as you see, I, um, I marked it out, and now we'll go to the last step in race. And then we got E, and I always said, uh, C, uh, the quote is the icing on top of the cake. Well, if uh, C is the icing on top of the cake, E is uh, the flavor of the icing. Uh, it, you know, obviously the flavor of the icing make the cake what it is. Um, and, and distinguish the cake. We, e is gonna back up everything. It's gonna make the cake what it is. If, if I was figuratively talking about a cake being uh, your writing. All right, transition words I like to use for E. Uh, there's several you can use, but uh, this is a great way to start off sentences. In other words, therefore, uh, these are just different ways to start off. I decided today to use in other words, and basically what you see in these, this um, sentence here is I'm explaining the quote, and I'm explaining also, uh, importantly, I'm explaining my claim and why, why TikTok is relevant. And uh, it says TikTok allows people to pass the time and stay busy during a stressful global pandemic here we go now if you read it together it sounds like it makes sense I'm restating I'm answering and then I'm citing my information and then I'm you know explaining backing up the uh, the quote and uh, which also if you go back to to the claim which is the RNA up there it kind of backs that up but you know this completes, let me just say this before I go to the butt part. Uh, this completes race, and we've got three sentences, but we know that a good uh, paragraph writer doesn't write three sentences. They write five to eight sentences. So how can we complete race and, you know, at the same time write five to eight sentences? That's the question. That's why I put two more A's in race. You may ask, well, A stands for answer. You mean you're gonna answer it three times? Not necessarily. Well, then what does it mean, Mr. Slatter? You may ask yourself. Find out next week on Mr. Slattery's YouTube video. <music>